Hey guys, Dr. Rappers here, and today I'm going to show you how you can convert a Windows UEFI boot USB to an ISO. So to convert it, we're going to use a program called IMG Burn. So you can download it from here, the link will be in the description, and I will just download the one directly from IMG Burn itself. And there we go, now that's downloaded. Now just to show you, I will create a boot USB with Rufus. So I'll just select my Windows 11 image here, and I will write the USB that I have plugged in. And then I'll click start and I will have all of the customizations turned on and then I'll click OK. So now if I click OK it will now create the boot USB. And there we go now the boot USB has been created we will now convert it over to an ISO. So I'll just run the image burn setup and then we will just go through the wizard. And there we go image burn has now been installed. So if we open it up and then you can minimize the log window if you want. And then we're going to select create image file from file slash folders. And then the first thing we need to do is we need to locate our boot USB by clicking the folder icon here. Then you want to come to this PC and then just select your boot USB. So if we click onto that and now we're inside of the boot USB, we'll just click select folder. So as you can see there, the D drive has been selected as that is the letter that has been assigned to my USB. And now the next thing we need to do is we need to come to options and then we need to check include hidden files and include system files. Then we need to change the file system to UDF and then we want to come to the advanced tab. Now in the advanced tab you want to come to restrictions then UDF and then click disable unicode support. Then you want to click on the bootable disk tab and you want to check make image bootable. Then at the boot image section you want to click the folder icon and then you want to go to your boot USB then go into EFI then go into Microsoft then boot and then select EFI sys.bin. Then you want to change the platform ID to UEFI and then you want to change the sectors to load to 1 so that it will then automatically detect how many sectors it should load. And then finally you need to select your output destination for the ISO. So if we just click the folder icon I'm just going to save it to the desktop and in this case I will just call it test. So if I click save on that and then we click the convert button here and then we say yes to that and then we click OK, it will now start converting the boot USB over to an ISO. And there you go, as you can see, it's now successfully completed. So if we look on the desktop, as you can see, we have the test ISO file that I've created here, and it also creates an MDS file that you can delete if you don't want. So now I'll just quickly open up VirtualBox and show you that the ISO does work. So I'll just create a new VM, and I will select the test ISO image. And then I'll just say it's Windows, and then I'll click Finish. And now we'll start it up. And there you go, as you can see, it's successfully booted to the ISO. So I'll just quickly go through the installer to show you that it does work. And there you go, as you can see, this ISO has successfully installed to this VM. So, guys, hopefully that worked for you. If you liked the video, don't forget the like button. If you decide to hit the dislike button, subscribe for content like this, and I'll see you another time. Bye.